I'm Jennifer Geiger with Cars.com. Change isn't always necessary, which has been Mazda's strategy with its Roadster. The Miata has changed little since its introduction for model year 1990. Aside from adding MX-5 to its name and some minor styling updates, it has the same looks and the same mission it's always had, to deliver affordable, uncomplicated fun. Let's check it out. The Miata is a blast to drive. It may not look potent on paper, but 167 horsepower is definitely enough. The two liter feels lively from a stop, and on the highway, it's really smooth and strong. This six-speed manual also has short, precise throws, which is really nice. It's also roller skate-like in terms of maneuverability. It's got quick reflexes and excels at darting through city traffic and carving corners, adding to the fun. Noise is another issue. The loud, muscly exhaust note sounds cool at first, but it gets old pretty fast. Also, road noise is a problem. It drums through the cabin thanks to the uninsulated hardtop. One big annoyance is a choppy ride. This is the new mid-level Club Edition. It has a sport suspension and standard 17-inch wheels, instead of the 16s. Because of the bigger wheels and tires and the sport suspension, the ride feels pretty jittery. The car's interior has a no-frills theme. The gauges and buttons are clear and easy to use, and there's no fancy multimedia system or navigation system. The simplicity theme continues with lots of hard plastic throughout. It's an overall boring look, but it's spiced up in this club trim level with some body color plastic. I think the idea is that it's supposed to be sporty, but I think it just looks kind of cheesy. At 5'5", I have enough room, but taller drivers will feel claustrophobic, especially with the top up. Overall comfort is another issue. The seats could use some more padding, and nothing is within easy reach. The only storage is a bin behind the driver, which is an inconvenient stretch. The mirror adjustment buttons and cup holders are also in awkward places. One part of this car that's done extremely well is this power retractable hardtop. It's quick, smooth, and seamless, and goes down with the push of a button. A manual folding soft top is standard on base models, but this hardtop is available on several trim levels. The top also gets points for not eating trunk space, which is great because there's not too much to begin with. With just 5.3 cubic feet, there's enough room for a weekend's worth of luggage, if you pack light. I was also able to get a few grocery bags in here, but not a full shopping's load worth. The 2013 MX-5 Miata starts at around $24,000. This club model starts at around $29,000. As a daily driver, this car's ergonomic and space issues might get old fast, but as a second car, it really delivers in the fun department. It's the type of car that you want to hop in and take for a drive regardless of the destination.